Hello, and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So looking at what's going on with Pirate Nation, um, the fully on-chain game, um, it's been uh, out for over a year now, um, and uh, they have launched their new blockchain. So currently, or previously, it was running on the Arbitrum Nova blockchain, um, which is, uh, you know, a, uh, I guess an L3 running on the uh, Arbitrum Ethereum L2. Well, it's a bit complicated in terms of where these chains are running. But um, the uh, sort of key things happen that Pirate Nation has, um, has moved to what they call their um, Apex chain. So one of the problems when you do this, um, particularly around L2s and L3s, is you break composability. So previously, uh, the uh, Pirate Nation launched its NFTs on Ethereum. They're still on Ethereum. Um, then it has uh, released a whole bunch of NFTs on uh, Arbitron Nova, but now it's moved everything over to Arbitron Orbit. Um, so you sort of have this sort of break. It, it, obviously, that sort of goes with the... Uh, it goes with being an early an early player. You sort of have to go through these these situations. Um, I guess you're assumed to be smart enough to sort of deal with it. Um, and clearly, once they're running on their own blockchain, then everything's gonna everything that happens then is gonna happen on their own blockchain. Um, so so this is sort of the starting point for them being able to sort of scale, I suppose. Um, so and in fact, they say this this move allows us to take advantage of an ultra fast constellation of blockchains built on uh, Arbitrum Orbit. So Arbitrum Orbit is the underlying sort of a code, I suppose, um, and their version there. The specific version is called um, what do they call it? A Apex. <laughs> um, so uh, one nice new feature you got is now you can trade pirate gold, um, which is an in-game resource. So this e uh, ERC twenty token can now be converted into an ERC one one five five, and uh, and you can use that in the game. Um, you can trade it on the marketplace by crafting um, a stockpile of gold. So it's not really um, at the moment available as sort of a, like a um, a fungible token that's sort of available with it's sort of available as an NFT that you can then sort of cash out to get the tokens. Um, so uh, uh, conversion rate ten percent. Um, so typical in a, in a marketplace, I suppose. Uh, okay, so this is again sort of a you know a, a starting point for what's going on. Um, so um, let's have a look uh, at what that actually means. So Pirate Nation. This is the game, and actually, it's changed quite a lot now in terms of the UI. Um, so now we have a little drop down here where all these sort of menu items are. So I can see my crew, and uh, I can see my inventory, which for some reason isn't showing up. Oh, because I put gold in there. Um, my inventory. So these are all the in-game items that I've acquired. Here's some quests that I can do. So I've got I've filled up my energy, um, so I can start to use up this energy these are just sort of very simple you know sort of missions that just use up that so um, I, I have one sort of proper NFT uh, and well, one Ethereum NFT and then one um, here which is the sort of the, when you start playing the game you get a free NFT um, so I'm just using up my energy um, to do those tasks um, what else have we got um, I sort of look at the bounties, so there's, do some crafting. If I wanted to make a Pirate Nation flag, which I already have, I would need these inputs. So marks are sort of the in-game soft currency, um, and I'd need some wood and some cotton, which I have. Um, a pretty purple, a, a purple clamshell. I would just need some money for that. What else is there? Small rock and driftwood. Not quite sure why I need those things. Some other more complicated things. A complete plan for a frigate. I don't have any of those things. <laughs> Um, so there's all that sort of stuff, and then there's sort of actually playing the game. So there's deck-based sort of fighting. I can fight other players. I can do PVE stuff as well. And then, uh, as we saw there, the sort of various transactions coming through here. As I say, it's fully on-chain, so you can see these things are. Um, no, well, that one's in, oh, that was a time-based one. So that's in progress. Um, so so that's what's going on there, and we can see here. Here is the gold. So pirate gold is now part of the um, in-game sort of UI, um, and. Um, basically, if I get pirate gold, I I can swap it for marks, which is the in-game sort of a soft currency, I suppose. Um, another sort of thing that happened, I don't know if you did a video about recently, is you can now sort of um, skate around like this in your ship. Um, and then if my pirate, if I can get him, he can go and also use up energy and what we got there. We've gone directly to get some items, so that's sort of a nice sort of UI sort of thing that we don't have to just use these um, uh, sort of clicking clicking, 
clicking on menus, I guess that will probably, maybe clicking on menus will disappear. I don't know if they will actually. I don't know, in terms of game design, it maybe it won't. But um, it's sort of, in terms of the game stuff here, it's better to get people moving around. Oh, there's a tree I can get, I've got enough energy. Normally I end up running out of energy in these situations. So that's what's going on there. And uh, finally, we can have a look at the um, marketplace here. So this is what is the new thing running on. So Proof of Plays is a developer, and this is what's running on their, on their new um, blockchain. So these are all the items. If I, I don't have a license, you can um, play the game and earn a, get a license for free or you can buy one um, if you want to. Um, but these are these are obviously all items people have been uh, crafting and now they can you can um, sell them and buy them. So some of these plans we were looking at if I wanted to have a you know build one of those um, frigates, then I'd have to go and get these plans in some way. So um, what's that? A Christmas, a winter town hall skin. So those sort of stuff. There's also the um, pirates. So these are these are the I can't remember about two thousand of them maybe I think three thousand oh no, it says ten thousand okay shows how much I know um, so ten thousand of these pirates the, the original NFTs and then there are ships um, so obviously these are sort of people are in a sense breeding these creating these from the blueprints and then selling them on so you start off with a um, well you can't you start off with a very basic ship and then like the one I've got here is a frigate which I bought um, there's some ones with fancy skins oh yeah there we go some colourful skins Pi uh, I think there was a Halloween one. Has different ones and have different attributes as well for the for the battles so it's all sort of coming together it is sort of coming together um as i say you know in a sort of uh, in a slow fashion and in a way that sort of um has broken <laughs> the previous stuff so here's the stockpile of gold so here i can um what have i got here so this is a thousand gold um that's what you craft and it costs two dollars forty cents if you want to buy um and obviously people are crafting this out and then selling it off and there's different prices you can buy. Um, so if I bought this one, the next one would be 247. Uh, but one of the sort of issues, I suppose, is um, if you're buying stuff, um, you can buy with credit card or buy with crypto, but because it's a new a new blockchain, then you need to have the, um, you need to have uh, the tokens and all that sort of stuff on this new blockchain, which obviously no one will have done at the moment because it's a brand new blockchain just for this game. So there is that, I say that's composability um, issues. And I think all blockchain sort of devs sort of realize they have to go through that at some point. And obviously lots of games are migrating from various chains to various chains. So this is sort of something we just get through, through uh, you know, being, being sort of OGs in the space. But I guess the important thing is it provides now a sort of foundation uh, layer for um, proof of play to start sort of building and, um, you know, they're not really building a game; they're building a platform, and they want lots of, lots of other developers to come in on the platform. So, um, so at that point, this this blockchain will be sort of full potentially of of other games, other items, and and so they have to get to this point to in order to build that. Um, and so they've done that. So um, yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on uh, Pirate Nation um, and uh, seeing what's going on there, and uh, doing some more videos. So don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you again later.